Hello guys, this is all from OpenSource channel. Welcome to a new episode. Don't forget to like and share my videos. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a new video. So without any delay, let's go and let's start the installation of Trillium. Trillium Notes. Now you can find all the information you need to get started in the description below. As usual, I'm going to get this installation quite fast today. And you can install this package on Docker using a single command line. Again, as I said, all the information in the description below. And I'm going to show you how to install Trillium Nodes, the latest version. For this installation, I'm not going to use Portana, but I'm going to use just the command line. So again, this is the actual command line I'm going to use. You can find all the information on how you want to really install this package. Uh, there are many ways to do it. You can use a local IP, you can just use it for a local network, or if you want to, want to make it public. I'm going to use available anywhere, technically is public. And as you can see the version, we're going to change to latest. Again, you can do as well specific uh, version if you wanted to. I'm going to change the port 8080 to 8111. This is because 8080 is already used on my Docker. And all I've done is copy and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to make sure, of course, I'm going to use sudo as I'm not going to use root. I'm not logged in as root, so I'm, I need to use sudo. So it's sudo docker run dash t dot p and zero 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 the ports dot uh, dash v and again all the rest where I wanted to install the installation. Anyway. Uh, the installation has started. It shouldn't really take long. It's going to download the actual package, and then once it's done, the e installation will begin in the background. And as you can see, the installation is done. All right, so now we're going back to Portana. I'm going to refresh the list, and I'm going to see what is going on in the background. As you can see, the installation is there, and as you can see, the system is already starting to listen on port 8080. That's the actual real port. Of course, we translate to 8111 when we go to access the GUI. So we're going to wait until it's running. At the moment, it's starting. And as you can see, now it's done. All I'm going to do is going to click on the publish port. And I can see the notes, trade notes setup has begun. I'm going to say I am a new user because this is the first time I'm going to do that. You know, this is the first time I'm running it. So it'll be the new user. Again, if you already have instances ready, you gotta might choose something else. Again, even if you wanna sync an installation that you done earlier, you know, in the beginning. So anyway, everything is done. All you gotta do now is set the password to get started. All right, the password is set. I'm gonna click on set password. And all you gotta do is just retap the password to log in. Once it's done, I'm gonna press login. And here we go, we are inside Trillium Notes. All right, so we are inside. This is the actual demo. Technically, it's the right version, but where it is, it comes with the demo content, so you can actually understand what is this application capable of. You can do a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff. You can actually add to these applications. You can create schedules. You can write books. You can write code blocks. Uh, you can do graphics. There's many things you can do. You can do checkbox lists, as you can see here. There's a lot of things, and there's a lot of things you can actually, uh, again, if you go to on GitHub, you can see what is capable. There are many other things you could do that, to be honest, is mind-blowing. Um, I mean, I haven't really gone through this application myself, but by looking just what it's capable of, you know, this is all you need to create wikis, all that information-driven um, databases where you can find all that kind of information. And as you can see, you can change colors, you can change the, the templates, light, dark, dim, uh, dim, or steel blue. Steel blue is quite nice to the eyes, so you don't get, you know, um, overwhelmed with, you know, with colors, you know, the bright color. Again, you can do shortcuts, you can create uh, code notes, you can do backups, you can sync with applications with your uh, mobile phone as well if you want to. There's a lot of things you can actually do. All you gotta do is just download it, install it, and explore the actual application yourself. You can see it's quite easy to use anyway. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for. Um, 
be here today and uh, I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial on how to install Threadium Notes on your Docker. So guys, again, if you liked this video, don't forget to leave a, a like, don't forget to share if you like it, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.